All right. Hey guys, it's Ray here. And today we're going to talk a little bit about a new product and it's called Green Screen Lab. And what this consists of is 160 virtual sets that you can use behind your green screen videos, whether you're shooting them yourself or you're picking up ones that already have green screen. Uh, it's got 160 virtual sets that include things like know studio looking uh, backgrounds as well as office settings and living room settings and it's also got a full entire green screen training course in there so you're going to learn everything from how to pick a background to how to light it to how to edit it and everything in between so with that I want to show you uh, this program because it is a very very good program both in terms of the training and in terms of the actual backgrounds. So if we switch on over here for one second, I'm going to show you this is the uh, the sales page here. And you can see we've got Todd on here. But if we scroll down, you'll see there's a few different examples, as well as some information on why green screen is such a good thing to have. And of course, when you get down here, engage your viewers, make more sales, get more traffic, save time and money. So what this comes with, as I said, is the green screen training. And you can see there's a whole set of training videos that teach you everything from setting up your studio, software, removing the green background, adding text, adding music, uh, re rendering your videos and making money with them. And you've got a free editing software that comes with it. This is a very cool piece of software that's completely free of charge, very high end, and it does a really good job from a very reputable company. So you'll definitely want to check it out for that as well. And of course, the uh, part that I love the best, the 160 virtual sets. Now you can see here, they've got virtual studios, office backgrounds, and living room backgrounds. And we'll show you some of those in full detail in just a minute. And of course, you can see what others have to say, including this handsome guy right here and a few others as well. Um, but this is really a tremendous program. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works with the green screen here. So what you're seeing right now is, uh, in my case, I'm using Final Cut Pro. Again, they come with a free software and we're actually providing a free software as well that will allow you to do green screen. So you're going to have a lot of good options for this. So what we have here is we've got a video of Michael here. And you can see it's got a nice green screen background. And we've got in here all of these virtual sets. So all the different ones from the living rooms through the office scenes. And so all we have to do, and I don't even think I have all of them loaded in here. I think there are a few that I haven't loaded. I didn't download quite yet. But you can see we've got a bunch of them in here. So all we have to do to use these is grab any one that we like. So for instance, maybe we like this one here. And so we take this and we're going to bring it below the actual video that we're uh, going to be screening out, okay? And the reason we're doing that is it's much like uh, in Photoshop when you have layers. So you've got your top layer, which is going to be any graphics or text that you put on the video. Then you've got your person here, and then you've got your virtual set in the background. Now, these do loop, so we can actually uh, come in here, if I can hit the right buttons, and we can make copies of the background so that... Um, so that we can do this all across the entire video. So it's not just in one section of the video, but rather it's across the whole thing. So we can actually make copies of this and then just drag it out to fit the entire background here. All right, so once we have our background underneath here, and we can see here that, again, we can just paste this in here. And once we have this in here as we like it, all we have to do is select our person. And we're gonna come over to whatever keying tools you happen to have. now. In, uh, in the case of Final Cut, I've got the built-in keyer here. And that's all we're going to really need for this because this is actually a pretty good green screen here. So you can see immediately Michael is put over this background. Now we can make some adjustments to this inside of here, change the strength of the keying program if we want. So you can see it'll adjust. Now this is a pretty good key, so it's not going to require much strength to be able to do that. Uh, if we need to fill any holes. Again, your tool might look a little bit different, but the basic idea is the same here. In this case, I've got matte tools that are built in. So if I want to erode this down or shrink it, I can do this. So you can see there's a little bit of edge on his shoulder there. So I can bring that down. And now it looks like he's really in the scene. Now you'll notice in this particular scene that he is standing kind of in front of that little green monitor there. Now what we want to do is we want to move him over so we can just grab Michael and bring him over like this. Just drag him out of the way of the screen. And so now he's standing there with the screen in the background. And what we can do with that is we can actually put something in that screen. And the way we do that is just by 
doing the same thing we did for his video is we take the keyer and we put it inside of the background. I'm not sure, there we go. Not sure what I did to that other one. That's okay, all we have to do is delete that and we'll just copy this one in there. So there we go, you can see it keys out this here. Now if we wanna put something in that screen, we can just take anything. In this case, I'm just gonna take one of the other backgrounds and I'm gonna drag it behind this one. And so now we've got a third layer and you can see that we have that inside the monitor here. And if we want to resize that, we can just come up here and we can resize that to fit into the screen, just like so. Just shrink this down, pop it into the screen, and you can see how easy this is when, uh, when I'm not hitting wrong buttons and when my mouse is not working properly, but you can see how normally this works very, very easily, and uh, you can see it does a very nice job of screening there. Uh, apologies for the mouse issues that I seem to be having of late, but there you go. That's how easy it is to screen this out and uh, of course you can do this with any of the backgrounds. So for instance, if we don't want to use this background anymore, we can actually come up here and we could choose, let's say this background instead. And all we have to do is drop this into the layer here. And we'll actually turn this one off so we don't have to see that. And you can see now he's standing in front of the TV in this room here. And once again, we can move him around, okay? So now he's off to the side here. And then in this monitor here, what we can do now is we've still got our picture here. We can move this over. Now you notice that the monitor is skewed a little bit. Oh, actually we've got to uh, screen that out again, sorry. So we'll come over here, we'll do our keyer. Drop our keyer in there. And you can see now it shows up in here. Now you'll notice that um, this monitor is kind of at an askew here. Well, most of your softwares will allow you to adjust for that as well. And so all you have to do is select that image that's in the background here. And we can come in, in this case, we can do a distort. And now we can do something like this. And just skew that down so that it fits the skew of the monitor, just like so. And we can even size that down a little bit smaller. So now it actually looks like it fits in that monitor. And there you go. So that's how easy it is to do that. Now, as you can see here, there's lots of different backgrounds that we can use. Okay, all of these come with the package. A lot of great backgrounds, some good virtual studios. You can see they've got the animated backgrounds in there. Okay, lots of different ones to choose from. If we come down, we've got the office ones to use here as well. This is still living room here. But you can see, look at this one here. You can see the background, the clouds are moving, okay? So it's a very, very cool setup here. You got the office scenes, and again, the ocean is moving in the background of the office. Okay, again, this is an office on the beach. So very cool stuff. You got the skylines. Okay, lots and lots of really, really cool backgrounds to use for any of this. And they all work just as easy. You just drop them in in replace of what's here. So for instance, let's pull this one in here with this nice city shot. I wanna drop that in here. And bam, once again, just turn this one off. And you can see now Michael's in front of the office scene here. And of course, in this case, there's no monitor, so we can actually put him in the center if we want or wherever we want to. And the cool thing is with green screen, and this is something you should note too, is you can shrink people down. Whoops, actually we're on the distort feature. We don't wanna do that to him. Go back to our sizing feature. And we can size him down if we want, wanna make him smaller, okay? And even in the in the case of this one here, there's a lot of cool things you could do with this. So now he looks a little short there, but you get the idea that in certain situations, depending upon where he's at, you can resize him, make him bigger, make him smaller, move him left, move him right. So it's very, very easy to do. Okay, so here we are, we're back into the program here and hopefully we're totally logged in this time. And so if we come back up to the top and we go to the dashboard, you'll be able to see how easy this is and how cool it is. So there we go. So you've got in here, you've got the software, the training, the background, and other resources. So if we come, you can watch the uh, the, tra the uh, welcome video here. If you go to the software area, okay, they're going to give you the option to download DaVinci Resolve, a very, very cool program. They have a free version for Mac or PC. On top of that, we're gonna be giving out uh, um, a shortcut as well, so you'll have a green screen option there. We've got the training area, and this is the part that a lot of people are interested in. So you've got all of these training videos here. So for instance, setting up your studio, this is gonna be all about the lighting 
and how to set up your your background, where to get your background. And he takes you all through that and uh, more of the trainings in here. So removing the green screen. So this is going to teach you how to do that. So just a lot of really cool stuff. There's uh, you know, the program here. You can see how it works. And he shows you how to do the green screening in that. So you're going to have a lot of fun with this. You're going to learn a lot. I know that we did a, a poll. And one of the things that people said in the poll was that the biggest problem they had was with some of the technical stuff of setting up the room, setting up the lighting. And that's what you're going to learn in this course is how to set that up, how to get a green screen, how to set it up, what kind of lights to use, where to put the lights. And it's going to help you to make some really, really good green screen uh, videos. So there you go. That is, in a nutshell, that is Green Screen Lab. I hope you guys like it. It's a great program. Like I said, lots of really cool virtual sets, which are tough to come by. I, uh, I do a lot of green screening, and one of the toughest things I have is getting virtual sets to use in my videos, and this makes it a whole lot easier for everybody. Um, you know, and unfortunately, even searching online, there's very few places that sell virtual sets, and most of them are very expensive, and a lot of them are really not very good. So the ability to get some really nice ones at one low part price is really, really cool. So again, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to let me know. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Grab it while it's hot. It's only good for a couple of days, then the price is going to go up. So you do want to act quickly. We're going to have some great bonuses as well. So look for those. Uh, and other than that, I hope you have a great evening. I hope you had a great long weekend and we'll see you next time. Thanks.